Hey everybody, it's Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar, and we are joined today by Caesar from Gibson to talk about their new Generation Collection line of acoustics. How are you doing today, man? Good, Jason. Thank you for having me. Excited to be talking to you about the new Generation Collection. Yeah, and uh, there's a new line of four acoustics, and kind of the first thing that's going to grab everybody's eye is the new kind of sound port on the top of the guitar. Can you tell us a little bit about kind of the thoughts behind it, uh, about putting that design in this new line? Yes, absolutely. Well, this is something that comes uh, out from the Gibson Labs. We've been working on this uh, for a little over a year and a half. Uh, this was something that was started actually in 1964, and it's being launched now in 2021. So borrowing from our history of innovation during the golden era, clearly before that as well, but in this case, particularly during the golden era, and being able to evolve that and bring it to life today in 2021. This was an original blueprint from 1964 that captured a J45 with a sound port that was actually on the upper bout of, of the side of the guitar. And we put it through the lab. We actually built that original guitar. So we went and first started with building that J45, which in that original blueprint was actually titled as a modern J45. Think about this back in 1964. And that was the mindset of Gibson's really since Orville started making instruments. The mindset was always innovation and evolution. And that's why most likely that's titled and labeled modern J45. So we built it. It had a I had had the sound port right there, no traditional sound hole facing the audience in a floating bridge. And so we went, we built it, we then sat on it, we played it, and then we started in the Gibson lab to think about what would be the evolution knowing what we know today. And after testing with many of us and our artists, we then decided it belonged more on this lower bout that's facing the player so that the player can hear more of herself or himself. Dig it. And so this new line will be four new models. Why don't you walk us through uh, kind of the different body size that you're going to have in this new line? Yeah, so we're starting with four. It's the G00, borrowing from our iconic shape in the parlor size guitar L00. We then move on to the G45. Clearly, that's a take on the J45, the very famous workhorse that I would consider to be the equivalent of our Les Paul in acoustic land. Uh, we then go to the G Rider, which is a very versatile guitar. It's it very quickly, the G Rider has become uh, uh, one of my favorites. And then the G 200, which is a take on our iconic J 200. The first two, the double O and the 45 come with no pickup and the um, G Rider and the 200, uh, we've installed an our backs uh, bronze, the element bronze pickup. Tell me a little bit about the thought behind not putting electronics in all of them. Well, the first thing that, that I, I initially was talking to the team about was accessibility. Um, first, to be able to offer an, a, a Gibson acoustic made in USA in Bozeman, made by the same hands and luthiers that make all of our guitars, from the original collection to the modern collection, to the custom shop historic, custom shop modern, to have an accessible price point and then also to give the player the ability to say, you know what, I don't need it. I'm playing this mostly at home, or if I want to record with it, I can mic it up. Or you can install your own pickup. And then when it comes to the G Rider and the 200, at that higher, a little bit higher price point on the Generation Collection, we are now installing that pickup. So that was, that was really the thought process. That's good. And you mentioned these are made in Bozeman, uh, along with all the other Gibson acoustics. That's right. right. That's right. So that's the... the the interesting thing about how we now have been thinking about a modern day manufacturing business that is in celebration of craftsmanship. And innovation is not just something that actually comes onto the guitar, like in this case, the Gibson player port, but it's also about how can we make instruments that are more accessible. And that's always part of the innovation quest, which doesn't necessarily mean we're trying to innovate when it comes to the actual instrument, which, which in this case we have, but it also is about how do we make more accessible price points made in our, we call them crafteries, in our Bozeman craftery. So when it comes to the sound port on, on the top of the guitar, do you feel like this is something that could 
uh, expand into other uh, Gibson acoustic instruments? Well, it's a possibility. Right now, it's a test. Uh, in the Gibson lab, we're testing. Clearly, the generation collection will have it going forward and will have it forever. And so whether we actually then take that and implement the Gibson player board in any other model, that will be a, a process of testing. And so uh, to wrap up, when will this line be available and what will be kind of the, the price range between the four models? Well, it's just a global launch. So tomorrow, uh, globally, in every region around the world, these guitars will be available, whether it's on Gibson.com, Nashville at the Gibson Garage, or throughout our network of dealers around the world. This is a global launch tomorrow. And finally, to wrap up, you mentioned the Gibson Lab a couple times. Are you, can you give us an idea about what's next for the Gibson Lab going forward? I could, but then I would have to jump over the camera and kill you. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it at that. Caesar, thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll have, hope everybody keeps an eye out for the, the new generation collection. And uh, thanks again for joining us. Thank you for having me. This is Jason Shadwick with Premier Guitar. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all of our gear demos. Today's share from Gibson, and we're going to take a quick listen to the G00. We'll start by listening to the front sound hole. Now let's hear the player port. Finally, let's hear the front sound hole and the player port together. Okay, here's the G45, and right now we're going to listen to just the sound hole in the front of the guitar. Now let's hear the player port. And let's listen to both at the same time. Now we're going to take a quick listen to the G200EC. Let's start with the front sound hole. Now let's hear the player port. And now let's hear both the sound hold and the player port together. and we're gonna take a quick listen to the G-Rider EC. Let's start by hearing the front sound hole. Now let's hear the player port.
And finally, let's hear the sound hole and the player port together. <laughs> 